With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is, so in this question there, this is assertion reason type question and we have to tell that the given reason is the correct explanation of the assertion and the assertion is given like that the a body dropped from a given height and another body projected horizontal okay one body is dropped from a height and another body is projected horizontal from the same height okay height is given the same same height strike the ground simultaneously that means time taken by these two bodies are same to touch the ground and the reason is given that because horizontal velocity has no effect in the vertical direction so just check these statements in statement they are saying suppose this is the height h this is building which is having height h this is h height now there is a body which is dropped off okay that means the initial velocity of this body will be zero at this point the initial velocity of this body will be zero and it is dropped in the effect of gravity and touch the ground okay and second body is projected that means we are giving this velocity v and this body is doing projected motion and approach the same height that is h and touch the ground now this is the horizontal velocity basically this v velocity is basically horizontal velocity okay that means vertical velocity the com vertical component of this velocity that is suppose u a u y that is also zero that means in both cases initial vertical velocity is zero so i can write the equation of motion from high for height that is given by h equals to ut plus half a t square now initial velocities for both bodies are zero that means this is zero for both the body okay initial vertical velocity for both the body will be zero that means this term is zero for both the body and both bodies are falling in the effect of gravity that means a equals to g okay that means the equation will be half g t square now h is same for both the body g is also same for both the body that means time taken is also same that means time taken is also same time taken is same and the reason is because this horizontal velocity is only provide the motion this particle in horizontal direction this horizontal velocity is doing nothing in vertical direction this horizontal velocity is only move this body in vertical in horizontal direction that means the effect there is no effect of this velocity in the vertical direction that means vertical velocity of both bodies are zero so the height is also same g is also same that means time taken by both bodies are same so assertion and reason both are correct so if both assertion and reason are true and the reason is correct explanation of the assertion so the first statement is the true statement that both are true and reason is the correct explanation of the assertion okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today